Hey, what's up YouTube people? This is a video on wheel restoration for a uh, really any car, but I'm gonna use my uh, 2003 Honda Insight and uh, as an example, um, somebody actually asked me if I had done one of these. I think I talked about it in another previous video, um, but uh, I was just kind of had nothing to do, so I thought I'd shoot a quick one and show you what I'm doing. Not a professional at all. This is, you know, pretty much free wheel restoration to get it, you know, uh, you know pretty good. This is mine. This wheel was uh, pretty clouded and gray all over. Um, let me first say this about the caps. You can't do anything to restore the caps. I mean, you can clean them and polish them a little bit, but it's, it's, it's plastic, whereas this is metal. So I haven't had a lot of luck restoring the caps. I have like hit them with my orbital, but it kind of tends to bring the scratches out even more. So your best bet for getting nice caps is just find a, a used set and they're pretty expensive or you might find some decent ones at the junkyard. That's how my caps look good is I've just found you know, nice caps at the junkyard over the years and acquired them. I bought a couple online when I saw them. Um, so, um, but just real quick, you know, the first thing I would just mention in terms of wheel restoration um, is, you know, these wheels that came with this car, you can see here, there's a good bit of curb rash. And I actually just took sandpaper and sanded that out. Now, again, this is, you know, this is ghetto. This is free garage mechanic version. So there's pr proper ways to do this, but I'm not interested in spending you know money or that level of time this car's paint is pretty shot it looks good from far away but when you get up on it it's it's in bad shape so you know i'm just kind of i don't want perfect wheels with with you know five out of ten paint so i did what i did to get it good enough and you know from far away you can't tell the curb rash as much i mean it's not bad um it's not great but it's not bad but i just sanded this with sandpaper you can try various grits and uh, you know got a lot of the deep gouges out of it i could have gone further again i didn't and then i just cleaned it really well and that way it's mostly the silver color um so that's the first thing then the second thing just talking about these interior spaces here these are supposed to be gray and they're as you can see this is compromised so the paint whatever that was uh has worn off by the way all this white stuff in here is just leftover product that i didn't clean off as you can see i got it clean there which i'll show you in a moment what i used um but in any case um so this is faded real bad on this wheel you can see there and i i've polished and polished and hit that with orbitals and there's not much you can do but you can clean it up and then i'll show you these back wheels these back wheels are actually in much better shape so on this one you can see that dark gray is still there it's a little harder to see in the shade but you can tell this surface is about perfect so this front wheel actually is much, looks much better than that one but this was uh, just rotated actually to the back um, but that's you know that's the first thing that part you can't do much about but the part I found that I could do a lot about was the just this surface here which of course is metal and then it's clear coated um, so this was all cloudy like dull cloudy patchy blotchy when I got this car and as you can see again they look pretty good and I'll show you the process that I used and it doesn't take long um, it's definitely easier with the wheel off so basically the first thing is just clean the heck out of it um, use something like this purple power um, that's what I used and you know you just want to get a brush and really get in all the nicks and just scrub the heck out of that thing you know don't just do it quick get every little bit you can get all the grease out all the dirt anything that's embedded the reason for that is if you don't get the dirt out and you just go to polishing you're going to rub all that grit into your wheel and it's going to make it worse so clean it really good i mean really really good clean it several times with something like purple power and then the product i've used to get the wheels the way i just showed you is this stuff's called white diamond metal polish and this is what sold me i read some good reviews of it a long time ago as you can see i've used about half this bottle pretty much exclusively on wheels over the last couple of years three years but it says removes oxidation and discoloration from aluminum brass of course we're talking about clear coat but it's safe for clear coat um and all these different metals and uh so i'd heard it had good results on clear coated wheels and um you gotta shake the heck out of it because it, it settles um, so that's the product I use and then you could rub forever with your hand but uh, guys I want to tell you if you're interested in like any kind of car cleaning 
an orbital, random orbital sander is, um, or polisher is just, it's the way to go. I saw a guy in my neighborhood um, whose cars are always perfect using this one night, like many years ago. And I, I kind of laughed at him and then I got home. I was like, wait a minute. I checked it out. I think this one was like $80 three or four years ago. It's the Genor. Uh, it was on Amazon. It's the DP502. It's kind of the budget buy, you know, it was $80, whereas like the nicer ones are 130 This is before pandemic and inflation, so this is probably $1,000 now, but hopefully not. But it's just a random orbital sander that, you know, you got the Velcro pads that you come up, put on, and it, it came with a whole bunch of different little pads and stuff that I've used for polishing and, you know, buffing cars. But this is really great for wheels. And then the pad I used, and this is a felt polishing pad. Uh, I got this, I believe, on Amazon also. And here's the number. Uh, GP Pro glass polish they're made for glass this is how i've polished wheel uh i'm sorry windshields with uh this product right here cerium oxide and a couple of my older cars uh including the insight i just showed you i've used that stuff uh to polish the windshield and get a lot of this you know scratches out and haze um but i i was experimenting a while back with a, a different car and i um I, I discovered that these felt polishing pads, they're, they're gentle, um, but they're also kind of aggressive at the same time. And this is what they look like, brand new. They're white, obviously. This is the one I just used on the wheel. So you can see, obviously, it took a lot of, of something out. Um, but um, you want these felt polishing pads, and then you just put that guy on there. And then use this product, White Diamond. And again, I had the wheels off the car just the other day I did this, um, and I, I rotated my tires. So I had the wheels off the car, again, cleaning, clean, 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 and then, uh, you know, hit it with those products. And that, I'll just do one more. Uh, here, I'll look at the other one just for fun. And I had to go back... Um, and again, it's not perfect. Um, I mean, I'm looking at my phone, the camera. It looks really good. And it, and it does. I mean, it came out really, really good. Um, but you just got to take your time because when you got it, you know, you want to try to get the all this stuff here, especially if it's cloudy in here. And then, you know, obviously, you know, this. Again, couldn't do anything with this, this stuff. I tried. Um, it just wouldn't get any better. So I was trying to sand all that down so it would at least be one color instead of that grainy, patchy look. But again, I don't really care um, too much. There's a spot. I didn't get it all off but I mean it came out really good like I said um, you know scratches like that aren't gonna come out with this method but again for free for the cost of free and labor um, I'm, I'm real happy with it so yeah I probably spent 10-15 minutes on each wheel I would hit it with the product I just showed you and then clean it really good dry it let it sit in the Sun a little bit so you can kind of see how it looks once the moisture is you know pulled out of it once it's completely dry um, and then look at it again. You see, you'll see a couple spots and you know with it that maybe you missed. And so I'll just go hit those again. And again, I probably did each one three times, um, trial and error, and uh, you know until I got it to the point I liked. And you can kind of see right here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's just a little haze left. You know, that's an area I probably could have got more, but I didn't. Um, but you know, much better. The whole thing was hazy before. It's real patchy and bad. So there's another hazy area right there. You can just see a little bit of the haze still. Um, but again, overall, I mean, 90% improvement. And um, that's it. So yeah, again, 15 minutes per wheel probably. Um, and uh, that did it. And car covers are a great way to protect your paint. I've been using them for three or four years now. And uh, trying to get a house with another, more garage spaces, but our current, country situation is not allowing that so here we are anyway car covers so that is how i polish wheels and restore wheels that is a garage mechanics guide to get pretty decent wheels not perfect but for cheap all right hope that's helpful and uh thanks for watching peace to you